Okay, in this video we're just going to do these three examples. We'll round each number and then we'll estimate the product. So we're going to round 868. Now you probably want to round that to the nearest hundred, right? So round 868, and what do you get? It's approximately 900, okay? Round 13, what do you get if you round 13? See, uh, sorry, once again, the number after the 8 is a 6. That's why we rounded up to get 9 here, right? 900. So the number after the, the uh, you'd round this guy to the nearest 10, basically, right? So the number after that is a 3, so that you round you round down to 10, right? So uh, if the number is 5 or more, if the, if the next digit is 5 or more, we round up. If it's four or less, we round down. Remember that? So now we have 900 times 10. So what's the answer? Well, let's think of it this way. This is $900. Okay, $900. What happens if you've got 10 of those? 10 900s. Each plane ticket costs $900. How much would 10 of those plane tickets cost? Well, it would be 9,000, wouldn't it? And one way of doing it is, look, one times nine is nine, and we've got one, two, three zeros, okay? So the answer would be 9,000. So you basically add on the one, two, three zeros, and you get that. Now, that's a kind of a handy way to estimate this, and if you were to multiply it out, it should be something close to 9,000 anyway. So let's estimate this guy, 732 times 17. 732 is approximately what? And again, you probably you could round that to the nearest hundred, right? So the next digit after the seven is three, so you're going to round up or down? Round down to seven hundred, okay? And then we have seventeen. The next digit after the ten is a seven, so would you round that guy up or down? You'd round it down, or I mean up, wouldn't it, to twenty, okay? Now, 700 times 20 is what we have now. That's a little bit handier. And you would go 2 times 7. What's 2 times 7? Is 14. And how many zeros do we have? 1, 2, 3. So you just go 1, 2, 3. See that? 20 times 700, 14,000. And that's the answer. Should have put a comma here too. Okay. So that's the handy way to, to do these and it's kind of useful if you're looking at uh, uh, big numbers and you just want to get a quick estimate in your head. It's a very useful skill. So 9,999, can you round that to the nearest thousand? 9,999 to the nearest thousand? And remember, a thousand doesn't just have to be something that has one digit here. Like, let me show you this. 120,000 is a multiple of 1,000 simply because it has three zeros at the end of it. It's 120 thousands. So, whatever happens, this number has to have three digits at the end. It doesn't matter how, what sort of what happens after that. Just as long as it has three digits at the end, it, it is rounded to the thousand. So, how would you round this guy to the thousand? You've got a nine after the as the next digit after the the, the thousand is a nine. Then we've got another nine, so we round up, and that becomes ten. Ten thousand is a multiple of one th of a thousand because it has three zeros at the end of it. So that's ten thousand, right? Then we have um, round this guy to the nearest hundred. What would that be? You've got a seven and then a hundred spot and then a seven after it, so would you round that up or down? You'd round it up to eight hundred, right? So then we multiply these guys and seriously all you've got to do is eight times one. What's eight times one? Eight. And then write in how many zeros we have in the problem. One, two, three, four. Because that would be eight thousand. See, there's eight or that would be sorry, eighty thousand, eight times that. But then times a hundred, these two zeros gives you two more. Okay, and then what do you end up with? You go one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. And that is what? What's that number? Six zeros on the end of it. That is eight million. Eight million. 